every year, Santa flies around the world in his sleigh and magic reindeer, delivering presents for all the good boys and little girls. Features of his sleigh include a small cabin for himself and one for the other co-pilot, such as a short elf and a seemingly unlimited cargo capacity. It's also powered by multiple magic reindeers which have a limitless fuel supply giving him an unlimited range and if rumours are to be believed on conspiracy websites, limitless speed. But that got us thinking here at Found and Explained. We know that we could redesign Santa's vehicle of choice to be a little better. Introducing Santa's next generation hypersonic multi-role sleigh. With this bad boy, Santa won't have to worry all about the laws of physics, nor appearing on NORAD's radar, able to slip in and out of borders on his noble mission worldwide in a single night. Let's dive into today's video, the incredible White Star hypersonic sleigh. The tradition of Santa cruising around on a sleigh pulled by reindeer is hundreds of years old. The thing is, back then a horse and cart was the fastest thing men had ever invented, and the idea of Santa having anything even quicker was seemingly impossible. However, his tale as old as time started to have cracks appear when the fable grew in popularity in North America. After all, how would Santa get from the North Pole to America with the vast North Sea in the way? Enter Magic Flying Reindeer. With eight or nine reindeers pulling his sleigh, Santa has been able to beat the turn of the planet and many other laws of physics to deliver his presence. A great system that has clearly worked for hundreds of years, but even still, it could be better. After all, we have the technology. This has made us really think, how would Santa do his mission if he had access to our little workshop, the Lockheed Skunk Works? Introducing what have I have dubbed the White Star SRHO. Now Santa's main issue is speed. He has to go as fast as possible to get around the world in time to deliver all these presents. Thus it makes sense that he would turn to the fastest company alive, Lockheed Martin, to build his next generation, air quotes, aircraft, end air quotes. This aircraft would have a top speed of around Mach 10 to Mach 15 with special 3D printed engines that allow it to sustain low temperatures. The surface would be comprised of a special graphite material to deal with the extreme heat friction and a display on board that would be windowless, using state-of-the-art 8K cameras to give the entire crew a 360 degree view. To get up to these speeds, it would use something known as a pulse detonation engine. This would be a continuous series of explosions behind the jet, allowing Santa to ride the shockwave forward. This has advantages over existing engines as the fuel doesn't need to be combusted internally with air, but rather outside, building up huge pressures, up to 10 atmospheres which is then released behind the jet. This engine would allow it to perform everything from subsonic up to hypersonic without issue, all powered by a small nuclear reactor. Now we need to consider present delivery. Time is of the essence and it doesn't make sense for Santa to individually go down each chimney anymore for every house in the world, and also considering that so many dwellings don't actually have chimneys at all. Instead, we need to propose that the SRHO fires hypersonic drones that contain a multitude of warheads, uh, I mean presents, to each home. These drones would then deploy parachutes to slow down and then glide to their destination. Best of all, this would all be undetected. That's right, this aircraft would be completely invisible to radar, and flying at an altitude of 80 to 90 feet, it would be naked to the eye. It would also have the ability to enter low Earth orbit if it needed to quickly get from one side of the planet to the other, a la SpaceX orbital flights that we have heard so much about. When deploying its arsenal of treats for children, it would only appear as a swift rainstorm over cities. Now, not every present situation is going to be applicable for hypersonic deliveries. Sometimes Santa is just going to have to get out and get down there, especially when there's milk and cookies on offer. So our bad boy is going to be VTOL capable. Borrowing from the Bell X-22, the White Star would utilize deployable ducted fans that are built with the same principles in mind as the silent Black Hawk used to take out Bin Laden. 
That's right, we're pulling out all stops for Santa. Now, it's time to talk about the nose of the front of this aircraft. Obviously, we can't have Rudolph leading the way, otherwise he might end up like the bugs on the front of a car windshield. So instead, I introduce you to Rudolph 2.0 which stands for Radar Ultra Scanner During Orbital Long Range Flight. Yes, that's right, this sensor suite will communicate with a series of satellites, a la Elon Musk Starlink, all around the world, providing comprehensive telemetry even in the deepest of storms. Thanks to advanced GPS, Santa's sleigh will never get lost and will never land at the Island of Lost Toys again. For when Santa is out of the jet, he would in fact activate the autopilot, borrowing from the system of the Boeing Wingman project. This autonomous aircraft could return to its mission delivering presents before coming back to pick up Santa for its quick trip home to the North Pole. Now, so far watching this, I bet many in the comments have noticed some of the flaws, and let's go over them. The first is the internal space on board. I figured that we would be able to borrow Santa's magic sack technology, where he keeps all of his presents, and have an unlimited bag of holding. That's a D&D reference if you didn't get it. This would fit in all of the cargo, nuclear fuel, extra drone missiles, and the VTOL system. I'm sure it's nothing that the boffins of the lab couldn't figure out. After all, they did figure out how to make Tom Cruise still look that young, so anything's possible. The other issue is cost. Now, this is all sounding mighty expensive, and if we look at how much we spend on aircraft today, the fact that the B-21 radar cost around about $600 million per plane, we've got to figure out a way to make this more affordable. And despite the fact that Santa must be so rich to be able to employ so many elves over the holiday period, think about those holiday wages, and is able to do such a large charity right off each year giving everyone presents, we still need to think about the cost. Thus, I have a proposal that multiple of these White Star jets be built and a few be donated in Christmas fashion to the US Air Force. They could use them for rapid medical use such as heart transplants or helping find missing people lost far out at sea. And perhaps if needed, the hypersonic present delivery system could be swapped out for a nuclear tipped option for those naughty children. Merry Christmas everyone, and if you've been naughty this year, I'm afraid Santa is coming for you at Mach 10. Enjoy, and see you in the next year.